Bishop Barris, the New York State Abortion Expansion Act has left us in a state of turmoil. The Abortion Expansion Act is horrific. And the fact that Governor Cuomo and the state legislators who voted for this horrific act lit up One World Trade Center and the Governor Al Smith building in Albany is a warped celebration of the culture of death and its corrosive impact on our families, our culture, our society, and our state. The features of the Abortion Expansion Act are horrific. A child can be aborted to the moment of birth. And if somehow a child survives the horrific abortion procedure, which is murderous, and is born alive, the people who have administered the abortion have no obligation to save that life. Think about how doctors who have been dedicated to life for decades and centuries, how that must the horror of that. And so it is so important uh, at this stage. I'm so grateful to our priests, to our deacons, and to our Catholic laity in a special way to the dynamic Catholic women on Long Island who have stood up and articulated very strongly their horror, their outrage, and their total opposition to the passage of this act. It is so important moving forward that each one of us as prayerful Catholics connected to the power of the Mass and our mental prayer and our rosaries are active contemplatives in the public square, engaging our legislators, engaging our governor in very powerful and compelling ways. It's so important that we're active. It's important that we're educators of the gospel of life, that we're able to form our wonderful generations. Our younger people are so often an inspiration to us in the way that they articulate the gospel of life and go to the March of Life uh, in Washington, D.C. It's important that we go to St. Thomas More, the patron of statesmen, politicians, and lawyers, for his intercession for Governor Cuomo and legislators who have voted for this horrific act, for their con the conversion of their minds and their hearts. It is so important that we as a Catholic community together are vigilant and active and strong in every dimension of what we express as a church. Bishop, is there anything that we can do? What can we do at this point? The First of all, uh, being prayerful is at the, the heart of things. When we're prayerful, when we see that the Catholic Mass, that our reverence for the body and blood of Christ at Mass connects with a reverence for the sanctity of human life and unborn life, that's very powerful. It has a mystic impact and a powerful impact. When we engage the rhythm of peace of the rosary against the culture of death and the horrific features of this act, there we become more effective. And our charity and our strength and our courage are amplified. And we're able to discern the right people to engage at the right time. It's so important that we as a church continue our efforts in education, how these wonderful young people go to the March for Life, they inspire us. And so it'll be so important for each of us to be very vigilant and to move forward. Uh, our Parish Respect Life Committees on Long Island are very strong and articulate. We encourage everyone to be involved there. We encourage every dimension of our New York State Catholic Conference and their communications and their guidance in terms of how to contact legislators and how to communicate with legislators. It's so important that we move forward and that we don't let up. We have to be vigilant and we have to be energetic at every moment. Bishop, maybe the sleeping giant has been awakened. Monsignor Vlaan, a wonderful man who had just gone through a bout 
of chemotherapy. We sat down and he said, with his experience of chemotherapy and the fragility of life, he has this deep conviction about this Abortion Expansion Act that um, he sees it as so critical that we, as he mentioned that maybe uh, this, the passage of this act has awakened the sleeping giant of the Catholic Church on Long Island to be much more active in the public square, much more prayerful, much more determined, much more effective in every dimension of social media and our education efforts. For a link to this video and for more information, you can go to drvc.org.